from improbable marmal mashups to the possible explanation for the Kraken. Here are 13 of the strangest mythical creatures that turned out to be real. 13. Giant Oarfish now, There have been countless sightings of sea serpents throughout history, and reports of the creatures have continued into the 21st century. While descriptions can vary, they're often described as snake-like or having horse-like heads. More than likely, witnesses have misidentified certain creatures as sea serpents, but one animal that would seem to live up to the hype is the giant oarfish. Found in temperate waters worldwide, it is an elongated, massive fish which can reach lengths of 36 feet or 11 meters. But there are some unconfirmed reports of oarfish measuring 56 feet to 17 meters and weighing about 600 pounds, that's 272 kilograms. That enormous size makes giant oarfish the world world's largest extant bony fish. They tend to stay deep below the surface, occasionally washing ashore where they linger until dying. 12. Cuvier's Beaked Whale Xiphius was a monstrous creature known as the Water Owl that had the body of a fish, the head of an owl, and a wedge-shaped beak. Now, in medieval folklore, it was said to have a sword-like fin that it used to slice through a ship's hull. Nowadays, Xiphius has been identified as Cuvier's Beaked Whale. It was initially described in 1823 by Georges Cuvier, the French naturalist and zoologist. The critter's name for him can grow to some impressive sizes, weighing around 5,500 pounds or 2,500 kilograms and measuring some 23 feet long or 7 meters. 11. Coelacanth now here's a critter that pulled off a disappearing act that commenced at the end of the late Cretaceous, and that's some 66 million years ago, when it was thought to have gone extinct. But in 1938, they suddenly re-emerged off the east coast of South Africa. In all that time, they had acquired something of a mythic status. Experts say the animals are an example of a Lazarus taxon, or an animal species that has seemingly gone extinct, only to reappear at a much later time. Now speaking of times, these ancient fish Fish seem to have a lot of it. They've been around for some 400 million years and they've changed very little over all that time. 10. Norwal Whales During medieval times, Europeans often mistook the tusks of these marine mammals for the horns of unicorns. In fact, they were often referred to as sea unicorns, and those so called horns were said to contain magic properties. Vikings and other traders from the north were known to sell those tusks for many times the weight in gold. Of course, the Norwal's tusk is a right canine tooth that can measure more than 10 feet long or just over 3 meters. Now that's actually a hollow tooth and it keeps growing throughout the animal's life, weighing around 22 pounds or 10 kilograms. As for the purpose of that tusk, experts say the critters will often use it as a way to break up ice in the Arctic waters. 9. The Dingezer The creature known as a legendary ancestral spirit of the Moni people of western Indonesia was called the Bandagazu. The so-called man of the forests was said to resemble a small hominid covered with black and white fur. It often stands on the ground in a bipedal stance, but it's also said to have an arboreal nature. In the 1980s, an Australian researcher identified the animal as a small tree kangaroo, and after a survey of the region was later conducted, it was determined that the creature was previously undescribed. It is now known as a dingezo, a forest-dwelling marsupial that spends most of its time on the ground and whose fur displays a distinct black and white pattern. The animal is still rarely seen, and to this day we are told there is no Dingezo kept in captivity. 8. Manatees Stories of mermaids have abounded since the days of ancient Assyria, and that stretches back to the 25th century BC. They were commonly described as having the upper body of a human female and the tail of a fish. Now, even Christopher Columbus had a documented run-in with what he perceived to be a mermaid as he sailed through Haiti. But he did not find these creatures so attractive, describing them as rather unsightly and having a male's visage. In fact, Christopher is thought to have encountered West Indian manatees which on average can weigh upwards of 1,300 pounds or 590 kilograms and measure more than 13 feet long or 4 meters. That would indeed be some kind of a monster mermaid. 7. The Akapi 
Europeans referred to it as the African unicorn, since the animals were so quiet and elusive they could never be captured. The Okapi were known as the Oapi, or the Ati, to the locals, but by any name, they were some strange-looking animals indeed, seeming to have physical traits of antelope, deer, and zebra. But they're most closely related to giraffes, and they even have the long blue tongue of the larger relatives. The Okapi was eventually regarded as a myth by Europeans, and the animal did not shed that mythic status until 1901, when its skeleton and striped skin was shipped to the British Museum to be classified. 6. Kangaroos Early explorers of Australia came away with stories of bizarre beasts never before witnessed by Europeans. They were animals that stood upright on two legs, had the head of a deer, and hopped about like frogs. When Captain Cook and his crew first observed these animals, they thought the creatures had two noggins, but the second head actually belonged to the joey inside the mother's pouch. In the 1770s, these macropods lost the mythic status though, and that's when expired specimens of the beast were put on public display in England. Nowadays, of course, they're one of the most recognizable animal icons of Australia, and you could argue they are the world's most famous marsupials. 5. Komodo Dragon Early in the 20th century, fishermen returned from the Lesser Sunda Islands of Indonesia with some fantastic stories concerning enormous land crocodiles found living there. While some attempts were made to investigate those claims, it wasn't until 1926 that officials from the American Museum of Natural History mounted an expedition to Komodo Island to officially investigate the wild claims. But those reports, they turn out to be true. The expedition returned with 12 12 preserved specimens and two creatures that were still living. Well, those animals were exhibited at the London Zoo in 1927, at which time the public was introduced to the world's largest species of lizard. Did you know the largest specimen recorded in the wild measured more than 3 meters or more than 10 feet long? 4. Giant Squids The stories of monstrous squids have been related around the planet since ancient times. Even Aristotle describes such beasts. The best known of these legends is no doubt the Kraken. And this was a creature with numerous tentacles, said to be so powerful it could devour entire ships and even whales. The Kraken traces its origins to old Icelandic sagas of the 13th century, where it was referred to as the Sea Mist. And it remained a myth until the late 19th century when the car of giant squids washed ashore the beaches of Labrador and Newfoundland in Canada. Those specimens helped to prove to the scientific community that these creatures could have served as the real-life basis for the mythical kraken. Today, these enormous cephalopods still retain the mystery. It took until the early 21st century before these animals were captured on video. And while that particular specimen measured around 26 feet or just under 8 meters, there are some undocumented claims that they could grow as large as 66 feet or more than 20 meters. 3. Plesiosaurus The first complete skeleton of one of these creatures was discovered in Dorset in the UK during the 19th century. But the discoverer, paleontologist Marianning, faced a lot of skepticism regarding a find. Many experts of the day felt that the proportions of the creature's neck were too exaggerated, and that led to the assumption that the creature was simply a composite of several different animal skeletons. But after some respected paleontologists of the time stepped forward to validate Ms. Arning's work, the marine reptile was eventually accepted as a bona fide prehistoric creature, and some sources think they could still be with us today, as many people have conjectured that the Loch Ness Monster, among other aquatic cryptids, might in fact be long-lost plesiosaurs. What do you think about that? 2. Mountain Gorilla in 500 BC, a Carthaginian explorer named Hane the Navigator sailed across the east coast of Africa, where he described seeing a group of Gorali, which translates to hairy people. Now, that name and description inspired the term gorilla. In fact, stories of huge ape men or man apes wandering about East Africa have been related for centuries. Natives and explorers alike recounted tales of these creatures, usually described as violent, bloodthirsty beasts. Until the early 20th century, though, the stories were taken mostly as myth. However, in 1902, one of the so-called man-apes was shot and killed in Rwanda by a German officer. Upon returning with the specimen to Europe, a new subspecies of eastern gorilla was documented, that being the mountain gorilla. In contrast to the violent myth, though, the animals are actually known to be communal herbivores that are docile, for the most part. 
They live mainly in the Virunga Mountains of Central Africa and in Uganda. 1. Platypus One of the national animal icons of Australia is also one of the all-time classic animal mashups. With the duck-like bills, beaver-like tails, and otter-like feet, they appear as if they could have been stitched together by some unhinged taxidermist. Now, in fact, preeminent British scientists of the late 18th century suspected the platypus might have been a compilation of unrelated animal parts sewn together, similar to a Fiji mermaid, adding in that the animal is a venomous mammal that lays eggs, or maybe the expert's opinion was understandable. Now, in fact, the animal's unusual physiology has today made it a crucial component in the subfield of evolutionary biology.